Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Tuan Salwani and I'm from Centre for Student Development C. Kolumpo and I'm also a Mathematics Lecturer from Unique LMFI campus. Today, I will share the outcome of the research that I've done to investigate the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the teaching and learning of mathematics in higher institutions. Everybody understands that good standards and quality of any curriculum are the most crucial elements in any institutions. But curriculum does not teach by itself, and no standards operate independently of experts' application of them. To implement standards and curriculum effectively, academic system relies very much on the work of skilled lecturers who understand the subject matter very well. How well the lecturers understand mathematics is the principle to their ability to use instructional materials wisely, to assess students' performance, and to guide students to excel. No doubt that quality of mathematics teaching depends on lecturers' knowledge of the content. Even before COVID-19 pandemic, the teaching of mathematics is always a challenge to mathematics lecturers. Nonetheless, with years of research in the effective teaching of mathematics, lecturers have succeeded in innovating ways in teaching of mathematics effectively, but in face-to-face -face mode. What I like most about mathematics is it compresses information into abstract and highly usable forms. But this will give some disadvantages to students, in which this requires students to make sense of the abstract mathematical concepts and to relate to their real-life experiences. In this case, lecturers play an important role, in which lecturers will decompress mathematics knowledge for their students by using suitable pedagogical strategies. Current situation the pandemic constraints have actually required lecturers to move from face-to-face -face delivery to online del deliveries. Okay, so we understand just now that even in face-to-face -face situation, it took years to find suitable ways to teach mathematics effectively. What about now? How the only online mathematics education environment and mathematics committee, especially students and lecturers, are being reimagined. Given the constraints, how the students and lecturers are adapting within the current mathematics teaching and learning environment. So in this research, we will explore how does COVID-19 pandemic impact on teaching and learning of mathematics in higher institutions. This qualitative study utilized open-ended questions to allow the researcher to take a holistic and comprehensive look at the issues being studied because open-ended responses permit respondents to provide more options and opinions. Therefore, using the open-ended survey question, this qualitative research aims to explore the effect of COVID-19 on the teaching and learning of mathematics. It aims to investigate both advantages and disadvantages of the pandemic to both lecturers and students in higher institution in teaching and learning of mathematics. And the data in this research were analyzed manually by categorizing the responses obtained based on common categories. Out of nine lecturers that we have approached, only four lecturers volunteered in participating in this research. There are three very senior lecturers, which uh, the number of years teaching almost 30 years. Okay, and one junior lecturer has actually volunteered in participating in this research. Okay, now let's move to the findings and discussion part. The first question that we ask is, do you think online teaching and learning give more advantages to your students and why? The first lecturer said, yes, active learning may take place because online learning is more student-centered. The classroom is more flexible, more practical, and the classroom will no longer be a restrictive place. Okay, students can always refer to the lecture notes and view the recorded lectures at any time they like. The second lecturer also said yes. Okay, students will have a closer view and a clearer explanation because why the screen is in front of them. They can always review the lessons at any time. They can ask questions and discuss with their lecturers closely. And of course, they have a very big virtual library to refer to. The third lecturer shared the same views with the first two lecturers, especially in the form of exploring more resources using internet. But 
the last lecturer did not agree that the online teaching and learning give more advantages to the students. For a second question on the disadvantages to students, both lecturer 1 and lecturer 2 agreed that students with limited access to computer assisted instruction and financially unsound will be most affected. For the same question on the disadvantages to the students, lecturer 3 agreed with the opinions of the first two lecturers. In terms of the advantages of online teaching and learning for lecturers, all of them agreed that lecturers gain advantages where they have more room to develop and improve their teaching styles. Actually, it gives an opportunity to speed up their upskilling and they have more time because they don't have to travel to the office. So they have time to prepare more materials for their students and they can have their lecture at any place. Even though the online teaching and learning gives the opportunity to the lecturers, especially the senior lecturers, to improve their teaching style, to develop a new teaching style, but the process to develop and the process to improve their teaching style actually consume time. Okay, That is the first disadvantage given by the senior lecturers involved in this research. Okay, And the second disadvantage given by them is it will affect their physical um, health. Thus, they see that the support system from management is very much needed. Based on our discussion that we had so far, we can classify the data into two. Number one is advantages of online teaching and learning for students. The second one is the disadvantages. The first advantage of online teaching and learning for students is, to, is student centered approach. Actually, the method that we are using now, the method that we are adapting now, is actually called as student centered approach. Student centered approach engages students in their own success. Okay, they incorporate their interests and skills into the learning process. They are more responsible to monitor their own success. Therefore, they will involve actively in the learning. Okay, that is number one. Number two, the classroom that we have now offer more flexibility. It is more practical for students, okay, where students can learn at their own pace. Why? Because all the discussions that they had in class, tutorials, lectures are all recorded. They can always refer back to the recording should they have any problems to understand the lessons that they had earlier. Okay, and the next one is the opportunity to explore more resources. Why? Because students will have more time. Unlike uh, normal situations, um, normal classroom situations where students have to travel from the hostel to the classroom or from the house to the classroom. So the traveling time that they had before can now be converted into searching time. Okay, they can use the uh, traveling time to search for more information using the internet. Okay, the next one is that they have a closer view and clearer explanation because why the screen is in front of them. Okay, they can focus more. Okay, and actually some of them will put up the earplugs or headphone okay, to focus more, to listen to the lecture so they can have a better uh, explanation. Okay, all right. And those are the, the advantages. Now we move to the disadvantages. As we discussed earlier, students with limited access to computer assisted instruction or students with, um, with problems with financial will be most affected. Okay? They don't have enough funds to possess learning devices. They cannot buy learning devices or probably they don't have a good internet connection. Okay? That, that is the first disadvantage. The second one is in terms of attitude, okay, uh, quiet and shy students will remain quieter and more responsive because um, they can hide be behind the off camera. They don't have to turn on their camera, okay. So they will become more quieter, okay. And some of them probably will have negative perception towards online learning because they um because th it is new for them, for example, okay and. The, the, uh, the, the one line that I put outside the box, okay, the one uh, written in red that I put outside the box is actually um, classified as probably advantage for students where they can discuss among themselves in answering questions. But they can also use the advantage to answer during, I mean, to, to, to help them to answer during the assessment. So it is actually... Um, advantage that is misused by the students and and it will eventually affect affect their um, performance okay
Now let's move to the advantages and disadvantages of online teaching and learning for lecturers. The first advantage for lecturers is they will have more room to develop and improve their teaching styles. Number two, they will have the opportunity to speed up their upskilling process. Okay, in the normal situation before pandemic, they do have upskilling training in their list, but probably they will not put that as the priority. Now, pandemic is actually a pushing factor to force them to enhance skills in technology, for example, in, in using technology, for example. Okay, and the, the next one is they, they have plenty of time to prepare more materials for the students. Why? Because they don't have to travel from the house to the university. Just like the students that we have discussed just now, they don't have to travel from hostel to the classroom. Same goes to the lecturers. Lecturers do not need to travel from the house to the classroom. So they can use the traveling time to prepare more materials for their students. Okay. And they will, they will have more flexibility in terms of um, conducting their lecture at any place that they like. Okay. All right. And the disadvantages uh, for lecturers are the the um, developing and improving teacher styles now is actually time consuming okay and to explore things in a non-comfort zone will actually um, take more energy more time okay and it may affect their physical and mental well-being thus support system from the management is very much needed Okay, the last question in the open-ended survey question is in terms of students' performance during pandemic. We asked the lecturers involved in this uh, study whether or not their students perform better during the pandemic. So, two lecturers mentioned that their students perform better during the pandemic. But, okay, but they also mentioned that High performance does not necessarily imply better understanding in mathematics during the pandemic. Because of why? Okay, because some of them will use will misuse the opportunity or the advantages that they have to discuss with their friends to understand materials better. They will use the opportunity to discuss answers during assessment. Okay, that's the First possibility of why uh, high performance does not necessarily imply better understanding. Okay, the second one mentioned by the lecturer is that some of them use software because the internet is in front of them. They are doing the, the, the assessment online. So they use, they misuse the opportunity by searching information in the internet or using software to solve for the um, problems given in the assessment. Okay, so the exchange ideas or sharing some same talks during the online assessment is actually um, things found by the lecturers. Okay, so in this case, lecturers mentioned that high performance does not reflect students' understanding. Okay, and um, unlike um, senior lecturers, junior lecturer found out that the students in her class did not perform better during the pandemic. Okay, so uh, she um, found out that just her students prefer face-to-face -face class. All right, and the other senior lecturer mentioned that there are two gaps in the class where one group of students focus and took the opportunity to participate in class and score better. And the other group will always come up with excuses and did not perform better in their uh, assessment. As a conclusion, experienced lecturers observe the teaching and learning of mathematics during the pandemic offers advantages to both students and lecturers. Okay, whereas junior lecturer perceive it as giving more shortcomings to students. Okay, in terms of performance, experienced lecturers argue that high performance does not guarantee a deeper understanding. Okay, and this. Junior lecturers claim that students' performance has been negatively affected by the pandemic. With that, thank you for listening to my presentation.